Hello and welcome to a Minecraft video. I'm Scudo Buyo playing vanilla Minecraft Snapshot 15 W32C uh, of the upcoming release of 1.9 PC edition. Uh, and in this video I'm going to be talking about some minor but what I think are interesting block uh, changes to block mechanics in 1.9. Uh, and I'll start with this uh, little corner entrance here. Uh, this is a gateless mob-proof entrance. Uh, so mobs will come up to here and they'll stop. They won't actually try to go through, uh, even though the player can go through. And that's because they see these iron bars as full blocks. So what they see is something, something like this. So they come up to the corner here and they don't think they can go through, so they don't even try. Um, uh, and, um, and they'll just sit there. Right. Uh, if there are lots of mobs, they might push each other into the middle here, but there's another set of iron bars, which means there's another uh, perceived block. Uh, and so a lot of mobs would kind of have to pile up here in order to push each other through. Uh, but by then I can just kind of whack at them and take them off it's uh, and take them out. It's pretty easy. Uh, so I, I like this little entrance. It's very simple. I use it quite a bit as, as a corner entrance for my builds. Uh, <clears throat> and I do have a wider version of this uh, over here. This is too wide. Uh, the problem has always been these ugly fence posts here. Uh, there are a couple of alternatives. I could use nether brick fence, um, which looks a little bit better. Um, a cobblestone wall is actually quite a bit bigger. I don't really like the way it looks. So I'm pretty much stuck with a, an unappealing solution to this. So I've usually, um, yeah, usually just gone ahead with the one wide version rather than the two wide version. Uh, but uh, And that's because if I try to use iron bars here in place of the fence posts uh, prior to 1.9, uh, a, an iron bars that was not connected to anything would have this little kind of plus shape. Uh, and that just looked generally ugly in these spaces where the fence posts are. Uh, but now in 1.9, uh, uh, iron bars that aren't connected to anything uh, render just as uh, a 2 pixel wide by 2 pixel wide stick. Um, which means I can now replace these fence posts with uh, much more elegant iron bars. Uh, and that just looks a whole lot better. It's, uh, it's still not uh, not as wide as I would want it to be and, and still be a gateless uh, mob proof entrance. Um, the gap here between here and between here over here is just is a little bit more than 1.2 blocks wide. And uh, uh, horses, for example, are 1.4 blocks wide, so you can't ride a horse through here. Uh, that would be ideal. But still, this is pretty good. Um, I, I like this much, much better. Uh, I also um, like the way um, this uh, this water elevator looks. So this is uh, something that I use every once in a while um, in uh, kind of uh, constricted spaces. Um, it's uh, uh, I have all these water source blocks surrounded by glass, which means that uh, I don't have to use melted ice. Um, but um, before I would have these uh, these kind of exits out onto uh, intermediate floors. And I would need something to block the water source block in here. And if I had a, an unattached glass panes, uh, it would render it as that plus shape. And it just looked kind of ugly. It was more difficult to get out. But now this uh, much more elegant uh, two by two uh, stick uh, makes, this, uh, makes this little elevator look much nicer. So I, I like that. And there's some uh, other, you know, aesthetic purposes or aesthetic uses behind these, um, uh, just you know, generally decorative. Um, I, I, I like the new uh, new rendering of iron bars and glass panes. Uh, the other change to uh, block mechanics that I want to talk about is uh, trap doors. Uh, so you see a whole bunch of freestanding trap doors here. Uh, this was not possible prior to 1.9, and that is because uh, trap doors really needed to have uh, to be attached to a solid block, uh, and when you would uh, when you would destroy the solid block, the trap door would pop out, and you would be left with nothing. Uh, so you couldn't ha actually have freestanding trap doors. Uh, now freestanding trap doors uh, are possible, which <laughs> means you can make entire pathways out of trap doors, um, uh, make these uh, strange sort of uh, sort of formations. I'm not, I'm not entirely sure what I want to do with this yet. Uh, but it applies to wooden trapdoors and iron trapdoors as well. 
Um, the uh, the mechanics when dealing with redstone signals are still the same. So you see this trap door here is open because there's a redstone torch underneath it. Uh, and if I go and uh, push this line of trap doors with a piston, uh, I come down here and this trap door that was pushed out of this space um, uh, all the way over here, uh, it retain it's still open um, because it didn't update from the redstone signal. Uh, but if I go ahead and give a block update, then then they're both going to close. So that, that mechanic stays the same, but um, it's nice to be able to uh, have these freestanding trap doors. Uh, I haven't in figured out all of what I want to be able to do with these yet, but one of the more practical aspects uh, of this is that you can now use trap doors for tiling. Uh, and that is because mobs cannot spawn on closed trap doors. Now, they can spawn on a block uh, uh, underneath an open trap door, but they can't spawn on closed trap doors, which means I have now mob proofed the, this uh, line of blocks here. Um, it doesn't really look all that great with stone bricks, uh, but iron trap doors look really nice. So I'm going to lay down a line of iron trap doors here. There we go. And uh, that looks really sharp. I like that. So uh, I think I'm probably going to use this uh, for some more decorative purposes. Um, besides the uh, aesthetics uh, of these new mechanics, uh, I, um, I'm going to be using trap doors as part of um, a redesigned uh, spawning cell for iron golems uh, that I'll talk about in an upcoming video. Um, so there are some uh, functional uses for these besides the aesthetic uses. Uh, but in general, I really like the, the new changes. Uh, again, uh, unattached glass panes and unattached iron bars render as two pixels wide by two pixels wide. Um, I, I like that. And uh, trap doors no longer have to be attached to a block, so uh, we can pretty much place them anywhere. Uh, really happy with the, the new mechanics. So. Uh, that is going to be it then for this video. Uh, if you have any questions or suggestions, please leave a note in the comments. And uh, thank you for watching.